Hi friends and welcome here. I am so excited for this week's video. I am going to be doing the fastest meal prep that I've done on my channel so far. I'm hoping that it takes me under an hour. I have a stopwatch going for my daughter who's sleeping right now. It's her nap time. So I'm trying to see if I could get this all done in less than an hour, which I think I think we can. So I'm very excited because we are going to be doing some rolled oats. We're going to be doing some fried rice and uh, prepping our veggies and all that fun stuff. This video is also going to be predominantly, if not entirely, a whole food plant-based. And yeah, that's exciting. Taking it back to some of the original recipes that I had when I first went plant-based. So if you're new to plant-based eating, then this video is probably gonna help you a lot. All of the recipes are super healthy and super basic so if you're getting into this um, healthy plant-based lifestyle then definitely you'll enjoy these simple easy meals that I used to eat all the time so I hope that you enjoy them and yeah let's get on to the video hi guys so the first thing that I am going to get started with prepping is my rice because it's going to be the base of a lot of these, if not most of these meals. And I'm going to be using some for the fried rice towards the very end. So I definitely need to get this going. And as for my beans for this week, I didn't really have to worry about it because I already had some black beans in the fridge and I also had some frozen chickpeas that I prepped um, like a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to pull those out of the freezer. For breakfast this week, I was thinking of two things. One, I've been really wanting smoothies because it's it's very hot here in Florida. So definitely smoothies are something that I have been really enjoying lately. So for some breakfast, I'm going to be having smoothies. And for the other days when I'm not having a smoothie, I thought it would be a good idea to have some overnight oats. I love that they're so easy to have ready in the morning. And because I am home, I thought it'd be a good idea to make just a large batch that's very very simple and that you could just change up the toppings because um, originally I was going to do some cocoa powder in this but then that would kind of limit the toppings that I could put so I kept it very simple I just added some rolled oats and some chia seeds and some cinnamon powder some vanilla extract and some plant milk now this is the only way that I enjoy chia seeds personally I'm not a huge fan of like chia pudding so I definitely found that adding chia seeds with my rolled oats it's it's definitely much much better and I could get the benefits of the chia seeds. As a personal preference, I enjoy having creamy overnight oats. If you don't enjoy that and you want it a little bit more thicker, then all you have to do is obviously minimize the amount of plant milk that you use. But that is it for this breakfast for the week. So something super exciting happened. My mother-in-law gifted us a Costco membership a few weeks ago and I've been absolutely loving it. They had this huge bag of broccoli that's organic at Costco and I am a happy girl, that's for sure, because y'all know I love my broccoli. We had been going to Sam's for like a really long time and we really enjoy Sam's too, but the thing is they do lack organic produce and we just thought, that now with this Costco membership, now we have access to um, organic produce, which is really awesome because Costco has a lot more like organic brown rice, white rice. A lot of their items surprisingly are organic, which I did not know. And I always try to make sure that I thoroughly clean my produce, especially broccoli and cauliflower because little bugs can get stuck in there. And one time I was about to eat a piece of broccoli and I saw a little worm in there. And ever since then, I've just been so meticulous about cleaning my broccoli and my cauliflower. So yeah, if you don't want to be any worms, maybe you should not skip this step. But I'm just gonna throw that into my always pan in the steamer basket and I'm gonna really, really fill this thing just so I can get it all cooked in one batch. I was also asked by a few of you where I got the steamer basket and this actually came as an attachment of my always pan set that I got a few years ago. So if you would like to purchase it, they didn't sell it individually, I checked, but unfortunately it's, it doesn't come on its own. But if you would like to purchase the pan, then I do have a referral code down below that gets you a discount if you would like to get it. My 
My protein for the week is going to be tofu. This is my favorite one. It's the super firm tofu that we pick up at Trader Joe's. This is very similar to the Wildwood tofu, but definitely much cheaper. So this is the one that we buy. And I'm going to slice this first block of tofu into big wedges. And the second one, I'm going to make it in cubes. You can definitely do all cubes or all slices, but it's up to you. I just like having two different kinds. I threw it all into one big bowl and I'm adding some garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, and I also drizzled some soy sauce on this and topped it off with some pepper. This is the way that I used to eat my tofu when I first went plant-based. That's kind of what this video is all about, just kind of taking it back to the basics and what I used to eat when I first went plant-based. So yeah, keeping it very simple, very easy. You can either throw these in the oven, but I am going to do two batches of these and I'm going to add them to my air fryer. I have these cool silicone air fryer baskets which have been super handy in keeping my air fryer clean. So I'm going to just add this first batch. Just as I finished prepping my tofu, my broccoli was ready to be stored away for the rest of the week. Now time to make my delicious fried rice. I always go back to this meal, it's so good. I'm just throwing in some minced garlic and some ginger frozen cubes that I got at Trader Joe's. These things are super handy. And I'm going to throw in some frozen veggies. This is such a great meal because it's so good and so inexpensive. All you need is some rice and some frozen veggies. To my fried rice, I am going to be adding in more corn because I like the sweet taste that it gives um, the fried rice. So I'm just gonna open it up and I'm going to actually use this for two different types of meals. I'm going to put half in the fried rice and then I'm gonna save the other half and use it for some burrito bowls later in the week. And now our first batch of tofu is ready to be put away. So I'm just going to add this to a Tupperware and then just add my cube tofu into the silicone basket and replace that and move on with the next thing. And as my frozen veggies continue to thaw in my pan, I'm going to get started with dicing up my veggie mixes. Now, if you saw in the last video, I did salad toppings, but for this, I know my meals are going to be different. I'm not necessarily making salad bowls this week, so I'm going to change it up. I'm going to be doing sushi bowls this week, so I'm going to be prepping a mixture of cucumbers, carrots, and green onions. to finish off my fried rice. I'm gonna add some pepper and throw in my white rice. I wait until the time of serving to add in some soy sauce and any other added condiments if I wanna add them there. Just because I don't wanna overload it with soy sauce, I'd just rather, you know, uh, do that at the very end. But that's pretty much it for this fried rice. This is absolutely delicious. A very inexpensive and affordable meal. I'm gonna top it off with some tofu and it's gonna be delicious. And the other topping that I'm going to be prepping for easy bowls, easy meals, is going to be a mixture of some red onion. I don't know why they call it red onion. It, it's purple to me, but anywho, I'm also going to be adding in some cilantro because these are going to be perfect for burrito bowls and I already have my corn ready and set aside. So yep, this is going to be for that second topping. I found this super helpful because you just 
grab a whole lot of those, throw it in your bowl, and it adds so much flavor. So I highly recommend to chop and prep some uh, toppings for your meals. And just like that, our second batch of tofu is also ready and just in time because now our fried rice is also ready and done. So we can put that away now too. And that pretty much wraps up our entire meal prep this week. Just a few things, nothing too crazy. We didn't use our oven, which was really nice because yeah, sometimes it does get hot here in Florida and you do not want to be turning on, you know, your, uh, your oven. today's video thank you guys so much for watching i am so so thankful that you would choose to spend a part of your day here with me thank you for just being so sweet and kind in the comments and letting me know that these meal prep videos are super helpful for you it warms my heart so much these are some of the most simple and easiest meals that i made when i first went on a plant-based diet so i really hope that you know that you don't always have to have elaborate meals you can keep it simple and it could still be delicious but that is it for me thank you and i will see you in the next video very very soon bye guys